Good evening, everyone. I'm Mahina Amjad, President of Women's Nation. I hope all of you are doing fine at your ends. Today, we have a second se uh, webinar session of mentors. We have Nagam El Bana. She is currently engaged as a field officer, field coordinator, I'm sorry, at uh, Ruler Entrepreneurs in Lebanon. Nagam is a teaching fellow with demonstrated history of working in the nonprofit organization, management industry. She is skilled in nonprofit organizations, negotiations, teaching, teacher trainings, mentoring, and management. She has a strong research background with a bachelor's degree focused in international affairs and political science from Lebanese American University. Thank you, Nagam, for taking up time for us. Over to you, Nagam. Thank you, Mahin. Uh, welcome, everyone. I, I would really would love to thank uh, Women Ascension for hosting me, specifically you, Mahin. Um, as, as Mahin mentioned, I've been working for around five years in the NGO sector. I have a BS degree in international affairs and political science. Currently, I'm pursuing my master's program in rural community development at American University of Beirut. Um, I work in the field of women and um, women and youth empowerment and as well i give uh, deep uh, i give debate trainings and entrepreneurship trainings so um, today we have a very very interesting session that's how i see leadership leadership is a very broad concept however it's a much needed concept to be applied in our everyday life so i hope you enjoy the session uh, be free please to engage and interact it's a very very like safe environment to express yourselves to it's a, a learning environment as well so we can all learn from each other i start sharing my screen Just give me a few seconds. Uh, guys, I would really appreciate it if we can be all on mute. And whenever you have a question, you can write it on the chat box or, or just unmute yourselves and interrupt me. That's totally fine. Okay, so can you see my screen, everyone? Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, before starting, I would love like if you can introduce yourselves to know more each other before we can start as long as we're not so many. So um, I think we have time for this. Uh, for those who, who would love to introduce themselves, um, it's, it's optional guys. So uh, anyone? Okay, so if no one wants, that's totally up to you. Then we can start our session. Uh, Samin wants to talk. Yes, Samin. Okay. Hello. My name is Samin Sefula, and uh, we had a short introduction of him already before. So uh, I'm doing BS Aviation Management from the university over here in Pakistan. And uh, I would like to ask a few questions to you uh, from you that, um, you know, women and men both equally uh, have the issues of, uh, you know, hair loss, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm coming on to the point, like, we have issues of hair loss. What if someone is uh, dealing with an issue that 
he or she doesn't lo lose hair or have any skin problem, but uh, that person has a problem which cannot be seen by anyone. Like if that person is losing hope and what if the person can't survive? So what do you suggest how we can deal with it? A person has already uh, a few communication skills and know a few idea about the leadership, but doesn't know how to survive in this situation because that person is not losing hope. <laughs> that person is just losing hope actually. He's not losing any hair and anything else. He's losing hope. He's losing relatives, he's losing friends, everything. And what he only has is just uh, his self or herself. So what do you suggest? Um, just let me rephrase the question. You mean if I, I was I was trying hard mainly to to listen to the to the to the terms you were saying. So um, her loss. You mean the problem is her loss. Just for me to. <laughs> oh no. To be um, able to I, reply. So I mean, if but I can, if I can take the floor, I think she's trying to talk about the stress. Yeah, Samin. Right. Yeah. Actually. Uh, uh, not just stress, I'm yeah. talking about the basic uh, thing that if a person doesn't have any hope, he doesn't, he or she doesn't know that he should be alive or, you know, finding a meaning to your life that what you are here for in this world is really a tough situation for every individual. If he's into in that situation that he I, I just, kind of yes, yes, I just get, get it. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mahin, for the clarification. Um, Yes, I totally understand. Um, I would love to ask you, did you go for a psychotherapist or a psych psychiatrist? Did you seek a help? Uh, that's what I mentioned, that the person is not getting any kind of freedom. He's losing friends, he's losing family. It's personally, it's me <laughs> whom I'm referring to. So I'm losing friends, I'm losing family. I don't have any kind of support. I can't even approach to uh, psychotherapist or something like that because you know um i'm not getting i'm just a student i am 20 and i don't have enough resources i don't have enough finance i want to do a lot of things but you know uh, at the end when you are not getting any kind of support from anything you are not even allowed to step out you don't have anything you are just shut in a patterned lifestyle and you don't know what you can do so it's just, uh, I have a very huge circle. I have friends, but you know, I'm not losing hairs. That was, <laughs> that's what I said. Yes, uh, yes I just, I, I totally understand your case. Um, have you ever thought of your purpose in life? Do you have a purpose in life? Have you ever thought what's your purpose in life? Actually, that's, I think that's the thing that I'm striving here for. I need to find a purpose of my life. But the problem is that whatever I want to do, I just can't help myself because I don't have any kind of support more over and not just support. I'm even tired of, you know, trying to, uh, trying to strive for my life for the, to find the purpose of my life. I'm just fed up with all these things. So I just don't know, uh, I'm just losing hope. I don't know what's my purpose. I'm just trying to find it, but I can't help it. So this is very stressing. Yes, yes, th that's totally true. It's very stressing. I, I would encourage you to start like trying to understand yourself, uh, seek psych psychosocial support. Maybe you need a, like, um, a personal life coach. Um, I'm not sure I would be able to help honestly. Um, psych psychiatrist help. Um, you can also read read more books. Try to understand yourself. I feel like reading is is really a step stone towards understanding ourselves and uh, also try to understand when that started with you when. When all that happened, like sometimes, um, like compelling, we pass through a compelling experience and it turns our life upside down. So, um, so you have to understand when that started. That's that's how how, actually, how can I, yes. Actually, the point is whenever you uh, a person like you said that I should uh, have a. Uh, 
psychiatric treatment like because I'm going through such kind of a state. I should be referred to a life coach and he should guide me. But the problem is when you cannot reach out to anyone, you are not even allowed. You cannot even, you cannot even hide because you are not even allowed to step out of your home. So you cannot. Yes. Even Seema, Seema, uh, okay. I, I just don't want to take so much time of, of the session, but uh, like we can, we can communicate. I can connect you with someone who can be able to support you uh, through online sessions and it's, it's for free. So if that would be uh, of help, I, I'm ready to do it. And one more thing, like don't give up, don't accept the state. Seek, seek the support, seek the help. Don't accept that this state is what you are meant or or uh, to say as long as uh, like you're uh, maybe you, you're living or accepting the state. I would say don't accept it. Keep on asking, keep on connecting you to someone who can deal with your issue. Of course, honestly speaking, I'm I'm not the expert in this. So, but you definitely need help, and um, I'm I, I really appreciate that you opened up, um, proving that this is a safe environment to express ourselves and be ourselves. So I'm I'm ready to help uh, in the way that I can. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So so guys, let's start. Uh, thank you, Sma, for um, for your intervention. Uh, I would love to start with an activity and know your thoughts about what is and use the code 11450398. I will send it in the chat box. Just type www.menti.com. The code is 11450398. 0398. Were you able to access it? Guys, were you able to access this the the question? Uh, yes, we're just there. Okay, great. In a phrase or a sentence, you can just type down your answers. Were you able to type down your answers? Yes. Perfect. I, I, I'll just present. Okay, so I'm receiving answers and be sharing my screen. So, um, so one of you wrote, leadership is where people inspired, are inspired by you and tend to follow you. That's interesting. Nilam is saying the process of leading people is called leadership. That's true. So, um, it is an ability to lead an individual or a group of people. 
Leadership is an art of collaborating people to work together to achieve goals. Leadership is working on inspiring others to do rather forcing them. Please guys, let's, let's all be on mute. Any other insights regarding leadership? So far, what you wrote is, is correct. There is no wrong answers. Any other interventions? Oh, okay, so the ability to lead a group of people, someone uh, wrote, that's very true. So leadership is the ability to lead a group of people. Okay, so, so guys, that's enough for me. I would stop the share and let us explore what is leadership. So, uh, can you see my screen again? Yes, it's visible. Perfect. So, what is leadership? So, leadership is a process by which a person influences others to accomplish an objective and directs the organization in a way that makes it more cohesive and coherent. So leader, le leaders carry out this process by applying their leadership attributes, such as beliefs, values, ethics, character, knowledge, and skills. So when, when we say leadership, leadership is about challenging the process, which is the ability to get under the skin of others or obsess someone or affect someone's deep feelings. Also, leadership is about inspiring a shared vision, the ability to enlist others in your vision, to engage people in your vision. Also, leadership is about en enabling others to act, the ability to inspire them beyond their expectations. It is also about modeling the way, which, which means leader should walk his talk or walk her talk. They do what they say. And also leadership is about encouraging the heart, the ability to appreciate and reward people. So who's the leader? Who, he is the one who influences others to attain goals. The greater the influence, the greater the number of followers. So I have a question. Do you think that there's a relationship between power and leadership? Yes. Yeah. Can you can you just elaborate more? When you are given the power, so the people uh, who are there with you, they analyze that yes, this is the person. Uh, like uh, there is a police, right? And uh, they have been given the power by the government. So the people are, you know, they have this thing in their mind. They have built that perspective that we have to follow this person because if we do not follow this person, then we have to bear the consequences. So obviously the consequences would be the positive and would be the negative as well. For if we talk about a person who is a policeman, then obviously people have the perspective that if we do not follow him, and then we have to bear the negative consequences. But in an organization, you can have negative consequence and can have a positive as well. So the person who has been given the power, so he is the leader and the people have to follow with each other. Thank you, Samin. Thank you. Any Anyone else? I'm not able to read that chat box, unfortunately. Um, shall there I is read something it? I, I'm trying yeah. to, but I don't know why it's not happening. All right, let me, let me read that for you, uh, Nagam. It's Naziba from um, Afghanistan. She said, when you have the power to lead a group of people and that make the way too easy to be a better leader. Interesting, yes, I just, I just 
offended. Thank you. Um, yes, yes, Nasiba, I totally agree. Let's see John uh, Maxwell, what he said about power and leadership. So uh, John Maxwell says that leaders become great, not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. And mind you guys, there are many people who are in power, but they're not leaders. However, there are many other people who have no power, but they're leaders. Uh, in a book uh, for Robin Sharma, the leader who had no title, he stresses on the fact that everyone can be a leader, whether he has power or he has not. Maybe power allows as, uh, as she said that maybe it expresses our leadership or to be able to express our leadership in a better way. But in order to understand leadership, we have also to understand power. So uh, what is power? The types of power. We have two types of power. We have the position or the position when someone is in higher position, giving them control over others. So if you have this power, it's essential that you understand that it can be taken away from you anytime, so you don't abuse it. So uh, for example, if, uh, if Mahin was, uh, um, was raised to the position of a CEO and her employees believe that she deserves this pos position, they will respond favorably when she exercises her level of power. However, uh, if Mahin also rises to the position of CEO, but people don't believe that she deserves this power, it will be ba a bad move for Power is related more to uh, those, for example, prime ministers, members of parliament, for example, Justin Trudeau, for example, has a legitimate, legitimate power. Another type of power, uh, which goes under the positional uh, power umbrella, is the coercive power. There is not a time of a day when you should use uh, the coercive power. So uh, since ultimately you can't build the credibility with coercive uh, influence. You can think of it like bullying in the workplace, and this many times happens. Sometimes people abuse their power. So no matter how good of a leader you are, if you're wielding coercive power, you are leading with fear, and this won't win the respect and loyalty from your employees for long. So um, this is a very, 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 or the worst type of power one uh, should use. So um, when it comes to reward power, uh, it is when you start talking financial livelihood or power takes on you know, a whole meaning. So for example, this power is held by those who can motivate people to respond in order to win raises, promotions, and awards. For example, if um, Seaman uh, of Samin and uh, Nasiba uh, hold a certain power of, of reward, uh, that means they administer performance reviews that determine raises bonus, uh, bonuses for other um, raises or whatever, any promotions for, for other people. So that's what we mean by reward power. When it comes to the personal power, these are really, really great type of powers. One of them is the reference power, and this is the most important and real power that leaders should adopt because it's all relationship developed with others and how those relationships are built. So, so this power depends on personal traits and values such as honesty, integrity, trustworthiness. People with high reference power can highly influence anyone who admires and respects them. And this goes also for, if you know Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi had a referent power. People used to refer to him, they respect him, they trust him. Another uh, type of, uh, of personal power which is the expert power. So guys, this power comes directly from your top level skills and years of experience.
So this gives Cepha a great deal of influence. So as we said, it's very uh, the, uh, the power relationship when it comes to, to leadership. So there is uh, a relationship, of course, but we can be leaders without having power. And we can, we can now we will understand how and what skills shall we have in order to be leaders, regardless whether we have positions or not. So in a nutshell, sources of power from authority, uh, control over rewards, even control over punishments, uh, appealing personal characteristics and expertise. Do you have any questions? If anyone has a question, be free to interrupt me. Go to the yes. Can you please look at the previous slide? Yeah, right. Um, there's not a question, but uh, here's my opinion about it. Is uh, I personally think that power leads to destructive conclusions. What it's like if a person like that example that I give a police man, he can use it as a positive aspect, he use it as a negative aspect. It depends upon him. It depends upon the power that has been given to him by the government. But you know, uh, a person can appear good in the physical sense. He can show that, yes, I'm a very good person, but from inside, there is nothing, there's no one who can tell what he's up to or what he can do in the future, right? So when a power is given to a person, so most, like majority of the times, use it as a negative aspect. That's why the, uh, the position, I guess, it falls to the coercive. Right? The main thing uh, of the personal element is I feel like it's a dominating nature of a person. Because if a person has a dominating nature, that is that related with the leadership because if he has a dominant which can uh, you know encourage people to look at him for example there is a bit bitcoin currency rotating all over the world and these things so over here in pakistan here is a person whose name is vakar saka so they call that he's the expert in bitcoin or but a few days earlier, I just saw a video uh, on YouTube and a channel, and there was the first company um, whose owner was like Jack, and uh, he was the expert in Bitcoin, and then he died. And there's a whole uh, history of him, which I won't be discussing. But that's what uh, I found that the common thing is that a person who has a dominating nature with a positive aspect can bring a change, can do the right leadership because if a person has a dominancy but he could not convince other people to follow him so he cannot be a good leader so what a true meaning because you know a uh, person can I mean, pretend that yes, yes, yes. People, but inside they are not respecting what he is uh, what he is asking us to do they are not respecting it so i mean that's, that's why what, now we will see that there is a strong relationship between Personality traits mm -hmm. can affect the way we lead. So now we're getting there. Thank you. Thank you for your intervention. That's really interesting. So um, we're getting there, and that will answer you as well. There is there is a great, um, a great, or really, it's a very interesting um, part that we should really look into is the levels of leadership. Um, this as well, someone I'm really inspired by. So um, uh, there are several levels of, uh, of leadership, which are mainly five. Position, a leadership. So now, now Samin, I think uh, throughout the presentation, uh, you, you'll be answered. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll have more like um, more idea of how it's, it's really related, like leadership and power are really related to personal uh, personal traits. And some people abuse their power because of their personality as well. So uh, the first, yes. So the first uh, level of leadership is position. So when this, this, um, this level 
For example, when people begin a managerial job, they have a position of authority. and supervisors stay at the position level for the span of their careers. So, so they mainly rely on company rules, policies, regulations, and the organizational chart, for example, to influence their employees. That's what they do, which is not wrong. Like, they're really good. They're leaders, okay? But now we can see how we can go over more levels to reach the pinnacle or what we call the personhood. So in the position level, you can master this level of leadership by learning management skills, being approachable and making an effort to collaborate with your employees. So um, a more open, accepting attitude can increase your team's motivation to produce better work and improve um, their workplace satisfaction. So to improve your leadership skills at this level, you can empathize with your employees, increase their motivation, deliver and receive constructive feedback, communicate with your team, so uh, mainly you can do this to be like a good leader at this level, okay? However, we have the another level, which is the permission level that is related more into relationships. So now we are going like to another grade of leadership, okay? Until we reach the personhood, which is the ultimate or the pinnacle, the summit. So this, the permission is that when you ask your employees to do a task, they will do their best. They may try to help you because they feel appreciated by you. Uh, they're included in the decisions. They are cared for. They're trusted. They're valued. That's how they feel. So to get to this level of leadership, you have to remember a few things. You have to consider how your decisions will affect all people around you. You have to treat all all your employees equally. You have always um, to support your team members. You have to make sure that all your employees can work well with other teams. You have um, to always hold people accountable for mistakes and to, re to relate to all people on, on, uh, on your team and other teams as well. Okay, so um, this is when it comes to the permission level, it's more related to relationship. Okay, so you have to make an effort to learn more about your employees uh, and that will give everyone faith in your integrity and makes them willing to do their best. Now we have the level three of leadership. It's related to results. So uh, mainly the production lead, the production type of, uh, of or level of leadership mainly focus on producing results create a significant impact on their organization. So mainly they can give useful advice, help to resolve conflicts and motivate people since they have excellent relationships with all their employees. Because notice guys, in permission, we already have strong relationships. So in, in uh, level three, we will have the relationships, but we will also start focusing